Don't expect a judgment out of it. Is, is Kalonzo failing? If indeed what, what is being alleged is true, that they came up with fresh demands at the report writing stage. I saw the demands they tabled That's initially. Right. One of them was cost of living. Mm -hmm. So there, there could be a possibility that they were shut down. Or the other party, were the, 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 the Kenya Kwanza coalition, were able to convince them on the current situation and they budged. And right now, they, like you've rightfully yes. put it, yes. they need to give a scorecard. Okay. We sent them and we need you to come because this will put them in a very... And you see, the, the, I, I, I'm really wondering, why is Azimio in the first place asking for the cost of living to come down? Yet a responsive government that was elected by the people are opposing that. Do you see any irony in that? In the first place, they should be the one to be concerned with the welfare of their electorates, with the welfare, not even of the electorates, we are, as, because we, at, uh, Article 10 of the Constitution, on the principle of national governance, we should not be discriminated. That's why even that uh, politics of share, shareholders is a violation of the Constitution. Okay. Someone should put the DP, DP uh, to really... You put this be on task on that issue. But now my question is, it's like the government of the day is not concerned. The 10 Kenyans that we have a plan. Yeah. Which Somebody, plan? We are, we are one year. If, if you listen to the government... Into spokes, their rulership. If you listen to the government spokesperson two, yes. two, I think it's a week ago. Yes. He said, let's give the government two to three years. So what he was not so sure about, then we, we, we looked at that statement in the newsroom is is it two years from now because if you say two years from now that means they will deliver in the last one year of, of them in office if you say three then simba when you <laughs> prepare when you make a manifesto as a they are long-term goals yeah. they are short-term goals and the the, the short-term goals could be as, as 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 short as one month into office the others who, that could be one year into office the others that could be even five years into office. Yes, we are not asking for the long-term objectives and manifesto from the ruling coalition to be fulfilled. All we are asking is that they promise that yes, within 100 days mm -hmm. they will deliver this yes, and they are yet to deliver. And they cannot shift that blame to anyone. So you, we, how long could we wait? Because we are now one year into this government. Yes, Three years, we will be engaged now in politics. And you see sometimes, Simba, I, 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 I wonder. The other day when the deputy president was talking in Meru, he said that, you see, we need to, in 2027, we need to increase our shareholding from 47% to 60%. So that, still advancing, the politics of shareholding, no, so that we can maintain our seat and have a stronger bargaining power in this government. Meaning that right now what concerns the DP and the politicians is how to be re-elected in 2027 and how to vote in the new government. Yet you, can, you cannot ask for more when you have not even delivered the little that you were mandated to do. There is one mantra that always drives me, Simba, mm -hmm. that the reward of good work is more work. You cannot ex expect more work when in the real sense, or if in the real sense, the little that you promised, you have not delivered. So as, 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 as we speak right now, there should be a lot of activism. If the politicians cannot help us, then we should now stand out to fight and defend for our rights. And this can be done through various avenues, yes, through political activisms. Mm -hmm. Uh, human rights activists through public interest litigations just to ensure that politicians know that you see Simba there is a time let me use this analogy in the Bible when Mordecai had gone to Esther yeah. there was a crisis and Haman was planning to slaughter the Israelites I mean uh, there was a very well castrated plan to wipe them and by that time 
Esther was well positioned as the queen yes. to advance the interest of her people. Then Mordecai went to her and told her of the plight of their people. But there's one, there's one caveat that I loved about Mordecai. That if you do not help us, not even yourself and your family will be spared. You get my point? Mm -hmm. And that is something that we need to know. Yes. That if the government does not come to our rescue, if the political activists do not come to our rescue, however rich you are, you will not be spared. Why? Because when the cost of living, for example, is high, very many employers will lay down their employees. And that means pay will go down. Very many people, very many companies will close. And that means that taxes will not be paid. I loved how Samia Suluhu put it the other day. That you should not have tax systems that scare away investors. Because when you scare away investors and you harass them every time, you saw what happened to Keroche breweries and everything, you harass them every time, they will force to close down. And when they close down, there is massive unemployment of those that they had engaged. And when you do that, none of you will be spared. That's why the government right now, mm -hmm. they are not spared. Yes. They did not meet their tax obligations. Yes. Let's sit down. Let's discuss on how to have tax regimes that would provide an amicable environment yes. or a conducive environment to transact businesses to even start small businesses without right now selling your own land you have to part with a lot of money simba so if this government does not become responsive they shall not be spared pretty much guess what i want us to quickly jump into the next story this morning by the way and kenyans have been treated too uh, 